this is Gladys with the events calendar. Today I'd like to show you how to create a recurring event. We'll get started by creating a pattern recurring event, ending the recurrence pattern, adding a few non-patterned recurrences, and also adding in some exceptions so we can remove some unwanted recurring events. I'll finalize the recurring event and then we'll go over our display settings so that you can keep your list views nice and tidy. I've already created a basic event called beginner cooking class and this is in my monthly view calendar. We're going to head over to my editor here and I'm using the classic editor right now and we're going to edit this and create a recurring event. So I'm going to click on schedule multiple events and to get started we'll just do a, a weekly event and it's already selecting Sunday because I've already created my event for the 8th which lands on a Sunday. You can have the option to have this end never, or you can do a specific date. So once you click on the on option, you'll be able to click a specific date that you want this to end. So if I was to click on ending this on the 15th, the last recurrence that will be displayed on your calendar would be the 11th, would be the last Sunday before the uh, 15th. So I'm going to select the after option and then you can do after 10 events. So technically this would end after 10 weeks since it's a weekly recurrence. Now from here, we can also add a few more events that aren't part of this pattern. So we can click the add more events button and then in the on field, we can then select another date and add it in. So we can do, let's do Wednesday the 18th here and I'll just change the time to make it the same time. Now you don't have to make this the same time. You can choose whatever time you want this to start and end. And then I'll add another one and we'll do, let's see, we'll do a Friday the 27th and we'll start this one at, uh, we'll start this one at four and we'll finish this one at six. Now let's say, for some reason, you want to keep your business closed for one of the Sundays that this recurrence occurs. We can just do not, and I'll just keep it as once and then select one of my Sundays here. So I'll select the 29th and you can continue to add additional exceptions if you needed. The recurrence description field, you can keep that as blank and it will auto generate a description for your recurrence, or you can fill it in yourself. I will update my event now and let's preview this. We'll just go to my month view and we will refresh. So you can see I have my beginner cooking class is now a recurrence. You can see this little icon here and it's showing up every Sunday. And you can see I have the beginner cooking class on the 27th as well and the 18th. And on the 29th, we don't have a recurrence. We use that exclusion option. And now let's take a look at what this is gonna look like for our list view here. Now you can see this can kind of get a little unwieldy, so to speak, with all of the recurrences in list view. So we have a few options in our general settings and I'll just navigate to this window really quickly. And this you can find by going to your events settings and under the general tab and under the recurring events section you have a few options here uh, you can keep them clean as well this helps to keep your um, calendar maintained a little bit better you can condense the events in a series automatically or you can allow the users to limit the views to only show the next event in each series so i have this enabled here and when i go and view my list view you can see I have a lot of recurrences. Now I would only be able to see really my recurrences right now. If I had more events, I would have to scroll to the next pages. So I can use this condense event series toggle button up here. And this cleans up my list view for me. 